Hey, what's up guys? It's me, the J-Man, back with yet another custom project. I'm going back to custom figures for this particular custom. Now, as you guys may or may not know, I am a big fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There have been different cartoons, movies, but there's one cartoon in particular that was on during the early 2000s, and that's the Fox Kids 2003 cartoon. Their version of April was different. She had a purple top on, she wasn't wearing yellow, she worked at a lab, she wasn't a news reporter. Now they made toys based on these turtles, and of course April, except her figure, looked like shit. So unfortunately they never made a proper April O'Neil from that show. However, I'm here to change that by using WWE figure parts. Now, for the body, I'll be using an Elite 41 Lita figure. And for the arms, I'll be using an Elite Page figure, because this April Neal is very pale, and so is she. Now for the head, I'm using a Lana head with the bun, because this April had a bun. I'm going to try to paint the face white, paint the hair red, and sculpt some extra bits, you know, the hair in the back, and the hair that curls down in front of her ears. I got a lab coat, which I'm going to have to resize, because this actually fit like a Barbie doll, but that's why I have fabric tape. Got this shirt, which I actually have for Stephanie, but I'm going to repurpose it for this. Here's the paint. And of course I got paint for the hair. Got my paint kit right here. So the first step to doing this, I'll just take the Leah figure out. She now has Paige's arms and Lana's head. Now the next step will be adding some clay. I got clay to her head, near her ears, and around her waist, and on her shoes. But after that, I can start painting. So let me get started on the clay. The clay is dried, and this is what we got. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. There's the belt and her shoes. Now the next step would be painting. I'm going to have to paint the flesh tone pale white to match the arms. Pants have to be like a, a khaki brownish. Shoes, you can probably leave the shoes black. And of course the hair is going to be red. And also paint the belt too. And after a week, I've gotten this so far. Pants are done, shoes are done, belt is done. Now I just got to move up to the upper body. Paint the skin pale white. And luckily I actually found this online. It's called Flayed One Flesh. It's a very pale look. I started using the paint already, so it's a pretty good match to the page arms. And before I go any further than painting the rest of the figure, for black, I used this color. For the pants, I used this color. For the white, and the purple. And to make the gray for the shoes, I use the combination of the black and the white. So now comes the hard part. Not painting the torso, but painting the face. Wish me luck. I'm just gonna skip to the end because between now and when I last recorded my process, things got out of hand. Setbacks galore. For example, um, the hair, which I sculpted on, broke off, so I had to do it again. Paint dried out, had to get new paint. The coat that I uh, bought didn't quite work out. It's garbage. But I'm practically finished now with the custom. The figure is done. It's been painted. It's All the paint's been sealed thanks to the um, spray lacquer. And as you can see, yeah, right here, the sideburns. I had to sculpt them onto the face. Otherwise, 
they're too thin, and if I put something, you know, a shirt thing on her, they would break off, which they did anyway. The skin came out nicely. It blends pretty well with the existing arms, the belt, the pants, the shoes, everything looks pretty damn awesome. And I did paint the shirt as best I could, decent purple color. And now the jacket over here, I actually took a custom Undertaker jacket I had from Ralph's Fair Clothing, just painted white. I even painted on the pockets and this stuff and even the little uh, like name badge right over here, the name tag. Instead of using the regular fabric tape I have, I used this instead, a bit stronger. Sealed down on the, the fabric here so it stays in place. I didn't paint the inside of the coat, jacket, whatever, because this side is still soft. And now to finally complete the process. Put shirt on, put jacket on, or lab coat, whatever, and uh, I'll be done. And voila, she is done. Now I know what you're gonna say, this looks kind of big. Unfortunately, can't help that, but oh no, I don't think it looks too bad. It's better than the original release from Playmates. So I think this is a big step up. I, mean, I wish there was something else I could do to, uh, to fix the coat. But all in all, my attempt, I think, was pretty good. Now, what do you guys think? Do you like my attempt at making a custom April O'Neil from the 2003 cartoon? Let me know in the comments below. And until the next figure I do, whether it be a custom, most likely it will be an actual review, not a custom, I will see you soon. Turtle power! Oh, and just a friendly reminder, I will not, one, sell this figure, no matter how much you offer me. Two, give it away. Why would I do something so stupid? Number three, trade it. I made this. It is sentimental to me. I could never barter it. Four, do any of the above. I don't care how much you get angry, curse, or cry, slash beg. Get over it, and if you want one so much, make your own like I did. And five, laugh out loud. If you are just joking, I'm not in the mood, and I don't care. If you want to make stupid and unfunny jokes, go audition for a live action show on Nickelodeon. There. Good night.